Hi guys, we have a live situation right here. We have MJ, she's our lab. And uh, I wanted to make sure, like just expose Silver little by little to other distractions and things like that. And I think he's a little bit ready. So right now our objective is to be neutral in the presence of that dog, okay? And I'm just gonna walk him around. Come on, bud, let's go, good boy. I'm gonna walk him around. And I'm actually, you know, we're, we're making sure he, he stays with me. He doesn't run off. Come here, good boy. Stop moving over there. Yep. He's getting like, why are you moving? Yeah. <laughs> Silver, yes. come. Yes, oh, good boy. Yeah. Nice job. Silver, sit. Atta boy. Down. Down. Yes, good down. Good down. boy. So you can come closer now. Good down. So he's working really hard to put the basics that he's been working on into real life situations, right? And uh, this is an example of how we use the basic stuff that Autumn's been doing. All the sits, the downs, the comes, the recalls, the name game, all that communication, all that engagement starts to impact real life scenarios. You saw when I called his name, even though he was slowly getting distracted over there, he turned right around to face me and come back, right? And then I was able to say, hey, buddy, let's sit or down. Uh-uh, down. Okay, that's fine. This is like the new thing he's learning today, right? How to hold it, how to stay. He's not going to master everything in one day. We know that. That was a long, and I'm, 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 I'm too wordy anyway. I talk too much. So, you know, that's okay. But my point is you use all these obedience things to ultimately make a dog that doesn't care about that situation anymore. You know, he doesn't have to be in those commands the whole time. You're just gonna utilize the commands to help him learn. We don't need you to bark at those or try to pull me over there or anything. We're good right here. You know, we got everything we need right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. We're gonna put, yeah, there's gonna be two videos in this one video, basically. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching. We're gonna help him understand all this stuff too. Don't worry. But for now, thanks for watching. Hey, you guys. This is Autumn. We got Silver, and uh, we're just doing some training. We got your message Silver. earlier and okay. thought, you know what? Why Silver. don't we just take a video while we're hanging out? Sit. And I can walk you guys through what's going on. Uh -huh. And sit. And this is Autumn and the Silver putting some things together here. Sit. And, uh, sit. Good boy. Good That's boy. a good sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Yeah. Nice job. So we're going to go for a quick walk. And as we go for this walk, I'll talk about a few things and we'll deal with some stuff as it happens. Autumn, why don't we change directions and go into the field right here? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So a couple of things that we've been really working on is he is so big and he is so wild. He does everything in the wildest possible way possible. So like right now, we're working on the healing, but we're just making sure he doesn't get so wild. Why don't you come turn towards me a little bit, Autumn, and go around this way. There you go. Yeah. So like, you know, when, when we change directions, when we move this way or that way, what I'm looking for him to do is, is just generally kind of give me some sort of uh a path you know there you go good boy just like that how she's kind of just adjusting him and, and getting him out of the way a little bit but in general we're just trying to calm him down and settle his mind and get it to focus on the stuff we want him to focus on right good. so and, and right now we're just walking around but this is a very tough exercise for him he just wants to smell everything and go everywhere and he's learning like he's got to have some real life skills here in order to be able to do a simple thing like walking with autumn you know and something that you guys can take away from this is the way that autumn is holding the leash she's not constantly jer jerking or pulling on him she's letting him make some choices and after she makes a choice he either learns like oh wow i'm still a good boy i'm in the right place or she'll make a little adjustment to him and, and help him get to the right place. All right, why don't you make a halt right here and ask him to sit. Sit. Silver, sit. Beautiful. Good boy. So he's a big old German Shepherd and he's very pushy. And, and when you are 
an easy target for him, let's say, he absolutely will take advantage of you. So right now we're getting to the stage where he's learning how to sit still, how to behave, how to be a good boy. Yeah, you can pet him off. Good job. Okay. Yeah. And you can be free for a minute now, you know, let him hang out. So he worked hard and now for that he gets a little reward, right? And uh, he's going to hang out with her and let her pet him. Go ahead, show him that little, uh, show him the apron. Yeah, let's do the apron. Yeah, just for fun. Right? <laughs> He'd go over it. I think he'll go right over it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. And when he gets excited, he tries to bite the leash. And that's something we're working on, obviously, too. You want to do it one more time? Nah, it's okay. He did good.